Before we continue with anything in the video, I've got to say right here, as of this upload, as of this recording, whatever you want to say, we don't officially know how to actually unlock Super Saiyan God. In fact, as of this upload, and again, as of this recording, Super Saiyan God hasn't even been revealed or leaked for 24 hours yet. We do know that it's real, and we do know that it's coming presumably in, well, it is being added in DLC 13, also known as officially Legendary Pack 2. We don't know at that if it's going to be part of the free update and or the paid update. And no, as of right now, we do not have a release date. Stay tuned, leave a like, comment, subscribe, all that stuff. Because once we know, trust me, you guys will know instantly as well. But with that said, based off of how they've done things in Xenoverse 1, in Xenoverse 2, more so how to unlock skills such as Super Saiyan Blue and Super Saiyan Blue Evolution in Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2, I'm almost certain I know or I know of a way, or the way rather, on how to actually unlock Super Saiyan God in Xenoverse 2 when it becomes available and there's things that you can do in the game right now to more than likely prepare yourself to actually unlock the Super Saiyan God Awoken skill. By the way, leave a like on the video if you still can't believe that they're actually going to be adding Super Saiyan God as an Awoken skill. I, I just find that insane. <laughs> it's in a good way, don't get me wrong now okay that's let's start off with one of the possible ways they could add super saiyan god again given how they've done things in xenoverse 2 as in how they've added super saiyan blue and super saiyan blue evolution i wouldn't be surprised if this is something that is if i would be surprised if it's mentor related as in you have to do something with a certain mentor to then get it like how you did for super saiyan blue you have to max out wiz's friendship and for blue evolution you have to max out both wiz and vegeta's mentor friendships as you can see right there where it says max that's the friendship and i actually forget what the bar on the left is like with those four uh like what square Rect you know, green turquoise rectangles. I actually forget. If you guys can remind me in the comments, I'll greatly appreciate that. Thank you ever <laughs> so much. Now, to me, it does make sense, given that, at least in terms, yeah, excluding Yamashi or the original Super Saiyan God or even Shallot or have you, Goku is the Super Saiyan God. So, with that said, I would not be surprised at all if... Look, to me, the like easy way, I guess, based off how they've done stuff in the past, the easy way would be just to say, okay, you need to have Goku as your mentor, maybe Z-Rank, well, not Z-Rank, just have Goku as your mentor and to max out the Goku friendship. So again, as you can see, where is it? Wait, give me give me a mom and mom there, guys. There you go. You see there, Goku is... Actually, where is Goku? Yeah, Goku there on the top left well, I mean, I've like maxed out. So if you do, I only have to max out Goku's friendship bar. I'm ready to go. Again, we just don't know as of right now. Hence the point of this video. Just to maybe prepare you guys for it because I don't think it's going to be anything too tricky to unlock, but you just never know, right? So that said, method one or prediction one, just max out Goku's mentor friendship bar. Now, how do you actually max out a mentor's friendship and this can be done with any of them right so that said well firstly have them as your mentor or rather click on be my instructor you're no longer be able to be able to train with your current um, instructor is it okay yes okay awesome now that's step one that's rather easy next we are well next we need to go on a couple of parallel quests now because i've as you just saw because i've maxed out goku's friendship i can't increase it any further so it's gonna be hard to show but that said actually which pair of quest is it i believe the best one for leveling up your mentor friendship i believe it's it, it's one of the bloody ones with the what is it dangerous duo or something <laughs> i actually forget which one it is why well, i've done it so many times for all this stuff you'd think i would have memorized it right okay there it is parallel quest 83 dangerous duo warriors never rest all you need to do to clear this is recover three dragon balls that's literally it but you need to have goku as your teammates i believe it has to be just a normal goku it doesn't matter i don't believe at least it matters which presets 
which is normal Goku, but I don't think he'll work with Super Saiyan Blue Goku or anything like that. It needs to be base Goku. Now, normally online, this only takes a second because if you've got, if there's three people online, you can all go and grab one Dragon Ball each before Brody loads in. I mean, there's one here, uh, and well, there's two round here. Actually, we've got a pretty nice, like, uh, a sub Goku, even distracting. So you can see, I mean, I forgot, well, not that I forgot, I couldn't see where the third Dragon Ball was. But yeah, I've, I've done, this pair of quests is pretty much done now. Well, once Fidel spawns in, there you go. Okay, done. You got a Dragon Ball. That should be the end of this pair of quests. There you go. Done. Now, Norm, well, I'm going to probably put a different mentor on just to show how fast you can level up just by doing this parallel quest over and over again. Again, if you need to max out Goku's you know, friendship meter and stuff like that. Oh, that's my bad. Um, I've maxed out every mentor's friendship. I thought there was one that I didn't max out. Okay, so I actually can't show you um, because, like, like, how fast it can go up again. Just do that. I believe if you also have their skills, like, you know, the skills they get from their mentor missions, like Goku's Kamehameha, Super Kamehameha, the ultimate, and I believe even wearing their outfits, like their clothing and stuff like that, I believe that can also increase your mentor friendship even faster. But again, you see right there, I've maxed out everything. I can't, I, I literally can't show you because again, it's all maxed out. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> okay, so that's like the most obvious choice i would think as the hell i'm gonna add it just max out goku's mentor right maze mentor bar then maybe talk to wiz like so you may have to do the same thing with wiz so basically max out goku and vegeta's mentor bar and then you should maybe then get super saiyan god again we just don't know as right now don't mind if i just pick up and times three scale okay hey wiz be my mentor once again thank you ever so much sure now in the same light as maxing out goku's mentor bar well firstly let's go back to wait it depends which one you want to go to either and or both the dragon ball z battle of the gods movie and again and or the dragon ball super battle of the gods dragon ball super anime uh season what have you in that well in those they summon Shenron to basically learn about the Super Saiyan God ritual. So I think it'd be quite cool if they add a new option for Shenron when you summon him, you know, summon him in Condon City just over there to maybe learn about the Saiyan God ritual. Then you have to do maybe certain tasks or you then start a quest to then go and learn how to go and use Super Saiyan God. So with that said, I can't really show this properly because I have all seven Dragon Balls right now. But around here, it's not this character, but around this area here, as soon as you make... Actually, do you know what? I think I can show you one moment. Yes, I'm just logged into a new character. I'll be doing a video on this character soon. Okay, so... Okay, so... When, when you make a brand new character, you can do this as many times as you want. It's a guaranteed drop rate for Dragon Balls. Once you've defeated Raditz, like you've, and you've done the very first mission, around this area here, there is a character. I forget the name of the character. It's a female Saiyan, I believe, or female Earthling. I forget exactly. She's level 1 or level 2, and she's got no skills. If you talk to her, you fight her, and then naturally if you beat her, you'll get the 4-star Dragon Ball. But here's the catch. You're also... Well, not also. If you... You get a Dragon Ball that you don't currently have. You know, currently have. So if you've got, for example, the first, second, third, fourth, fifth, and seventh star Dragon Balls, and you only need the what was it the which which one did I not say? If you got the if you got the first, second, third, fourth, fifth, and seventh star Dragon Balls, talking to her, defeating her, she'll then give you the six star Dragon Ball. And if you've got all seven of them, I believe she'll give you like a a legendary Hercule badge or something like that. So, with that said, you can get guaranteed Dragon Balls just by talking to her. The only downside to this is you need one character slot free to then get, you know, make a character, defeat Raditz, talk to her, then delete it and rinse and repeat until you've got a completed set of Dragon Balls. So, that's one way to get Dragon Balls. You can also maybe, you know, well, not maybe, you can also, if you want to, go to like parallel quests and defeat time patrollers. But this is just a 100% guaranteed way to get a full set of dragon balls now once you've done that maybe i'm gonna say okay well you got the dragon balls go and summon shenron and maybe a new option will appear when you summon shenron again when you have a full or all seven dragon balls so that said 
let's just see what an option could possibly be. Hey Shenron, how are you doing? So it would make sense really to use Shenron because that's well, that's how Goku got it, you know, by then using the what is it, the spirit of Yamoshi or what have you. So you got all these options here. I think it'll be interesting if they add a new option, like after this sense, you know, after I want medal, saying something like I want to learn the ritual or I want to learn about the Super Saiyan God, then you click that option. And then once you've clicked that option, maybe Shenron will basically unlock a new quest or maybe instantly start a quest, you know, right off the bat to then battle against, I don't know, Beerus, Whis, Goku, Vegeta, whoever. And then to, you know, doing that will then be similar to the Super Saiyan mission where once you've cleared it, you'll then get the Super Saiyan God awoken skill so long story short maybe make sure that you've got a full set of dragon balls ready for when dlc 13 legendary pack 2 comes out again as of right now we don't have a release date now it may also be that in order for shenron to even have the option to you know for the super Saiyan god ritual or for it to finish or something you may need to max out the characters from dragon ball z the movie well, the movie or dragon ball and all well, it's the same or dragon ball super you know the uh, battle of the gods arc the characters that help goku obtain super saiyan god via the super saiyan god ritual those characters including goku are like who is it like the more mentors at least in some way in the game including goku you've got who is it goku vegeta gohan pan Gold 10, Kid Trunks, and Videl. Maybe not Videl, but you know what I'm saying. But all of these are mentors in the game. So just, like, again, on the, you know, overworld, here is Videl with Gohan. Maybe you'll have to max their friendship out as well, or just do their mission, and or do their missions. Gold 10 and Kid Trunks aren't mentors in the game necessarily, but Gold Tanks is, which naturally is the resulting Metal More infusion of Gold 10 and Trunks. So here's Gold Tanks on the stage, well, on the overworld as well. I always forget where Pan is. Oh, there's, okay, there's Pan. So again, here's Pan, even though, yes, it's a GT version, so do take it with a bit of a, well, well, you know, with a grain of salt, I guess. And Vegeta is all the way over here. I. Wouldn't be surprised if this isn't how it works because it is a bit strange. You know, uh, well, not strange. What's the word? I forgot what the word is. But here is Vegeta as well on the Canton City Overworld heads up display. Again, whatever you want to call it. Now, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show the clips from my Hell to Unlock Every Awoken skill video, which I may also do an updated version of that now once this comes out. Because I wouldn't be surprised if you need to get Super Saiyan and technically Super Saiyan 1, 2, 3, Super Vegeta, as well as Super Saiyan Blue and Blue Evolution, despite Super Saiyan God not being as good as either Super Saiyan Blue and or Super Saiyan Blue Evolution. I'll also leave a link to that video in the description of this video if you can go and watch it to learn how to unlock every current Wildcard skill currently available in Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2. So that said, Timestamps in the description, all that good stuff on how to, well, if you want to skip to certain parts. With that said, here are those clips. To unlock the Super Saiyan Awoken skill, and by extension, Super Saiyan 2, and technically Super Saiyan 3, this is how you do that. Firstly, this has to be done on a Saiyan character. So make a Saiyan character, a Saiyan Kak avatar, custom character, created character, Whatever you want to say, right? Make a Saiyan character, then progress through the story mode until you've completed the Ruckus on Planet Namek story mode mission. Ironically enough, it's the mission where you and Vegeta battle against villainous mode Doria. Clear that mission, then get to level 30. Once you've done both of these things, then go to the Capsule Corp Time Rift in Canton City, then talk to Vegeta. This will activate the first of three missions. It's a pretty easy mission, just clear it. It's, it won't take you long at all. You shouldn't have any problems with this. Then once you've done that, you then need to get to level 40. And side note for me, because I had plenty of Zenny, 
I was able to talk to Tolsock immediately after clearing the first mission, and then I was level 40, but the, I, well, when I did that, I couldn't talk to Vegeta. So get to level 40 if you do it the same way as me, then go into Photon Mode, not the Content City Photon Mode, the Photon Mode where you can select a different stage and stuff like that, then go back out of it, back into Content City, or reload the game somehow, just so the stage, or rather, just so Content City itself reloads, then go back to the Capsule Corp Time Rift in Canton City, talk to Vegeta, and that will get you the second out of three missions. Again, you need to be level 40, clear this, then talk to Vegeta again, and he'll tell you to talk to Bulma, then you need to talk to Kid Trunks in the Capsule Corp Time Rift. During that, you can then talk to Vegeta again, and that will activate the third and final mission. Clearing this will then get you Super Saiyan. It is as simple as that. As long as you clear this mission, you will then get Super Saiyan unlocked as an Awoken skill to use on your other Saiyan characters and stuff like that. Now to get Super Saiyan 2, well you've, again, once you've done this, you've got Super Saiyan 1, 2 and 3. For Super Saiyan 1, you need 3 bars of key. For Super Saiyan 2, you need 4 bars of key. And for Super Saiyan 3, you need 5 or more bars of key. So that's just 3 Awoken skills that you've got unlocked right there good stuff congratulations you've just unlocked how to turn super saiyan in dragon ball xenoverse 2. next we have how to unlock the super vegeta awoken skill and technically by extension super vegeta 2. now for the purposes of this video i unlocked this specific awoken skill on my same character pretty much immediately after I unlocked the Super Saiyan Awoken. I'm only mentioning this because I'm not fully sure if you absolutely need to be a Saiyan to get this specific Awoken. Again, you do need to be a Saiyan to get the Super Saiyan Awoken and by extension again, Super Saiyan 1, 2 and Super Saiyan 3. But for Super Vegeta, I don't actually know if you absolutely have to be a Saiyan cack. So firstly, to get this, you need to get Super Saiyan unlocked first, because again, if you're on a Saiyan character, you just you know, you'll get it. You'll get Super Saiyan first, then this will happen later on. You need to get to at least level 50 to get the first, or rather the next mission from Vegeta in the Capsule Corp Time Rift. Clear this mission, then get to level 60, or get to at least level 60, reload the city if you already are. Again, go into Photon Mode, or reload the game, as in log out and then log back in or restart it, what have you, when you're level 60 or above, and that will give you the third mission from Vegeta. Clear this one, and you will then get the Super Vegeta Awoken skill. Fairly straightforward, but again, I don't know if you absolutely need to be a sound character to get this specific Awoken skill. And now we have how to unlock Super Saiyan Blue, technically as well, Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan, same thing, oh yes. So thankfully, this can be done on any character, regardless of if, if it's a Saiyan character, a Margin, a Namekian, but naturally, it can only be used on a male or female Saiyan avatar. A Saiyan cack. So for, well, there's only two things really that you need to do. Firstly, you need to be at least level 90, and secondly, you need to have max friendship with Whis as your mentor. Now, once you've done that, just go and talk to Whis in Canton City, either if he's your mentor or not, and he will literally just give you Super Saiyan Blue. <laughs> it's literally just that simple. Now, to get to level 90, you need to be, well, you need to be level 90, but you can't just level straight up to it, for the most part at least. So once you hit level 80, you won't be able to level up to level 81. How do you fix this? Go talk to Guru and he will then unlock your potential. Then to get past level 85 to then get to level 90, again, get to level 85 first, then reload the city. Then you should get a pop-up, as you can see on the screen right now, saying something like, oh, the level cap's been increased. Go talk to Guru in the Namek Time Rift and he'll then unlock your potential further. So you can then progress to a higher level. Do the same thing, the exact same thing when you're level 95 to get to level 99 and jobs done you may need to go and complete the 
what is it, protect the Dragon Ball mission if you've not done it for a while. But after you've done that, just go and talk straight to Guru and he will unlock your potential. Very good right there. And also max friendship with Wiz. Now to get Wiz as your mentor, I'm not fully sure what the specifics are because I thought you got him as a mentor once you completed the Xenoverse 2 story mode or the unknown history, the secret ending. But this is what I did. Make sure you complete all of the advancement tests by Elder Kai near the Orange Star High School in Canton City. Now, if you can't unlock the next one, just try and progress through the story mode. If that doesn't work, try leveling up. And if that still doesn't work, try going through some of your mentor quests. And I think eventually it will unlock for me. It unlocked after completing Freezer as my mentor. We have the mentor missions, I should say. And try and do some parallel quests and eventually you'll get the pop-up, which will say, yeah, you can now take the next advancement test. Do the final one, then Wiz will then become available as your mentor in Canton City. Now, side note, a very quick way, as in maybe 20 or even 30 minutes to max out Wiz's friendship bar, is to go and do the parallel quest called Dragon Ball Raw. I forget what the number of the parallel quest is. It's in like, I think it's like 22 or something like that. You should have it unlocked at this point in the game, or rather by the time you have Wiz as a mentor, you should easily have this max, well, you should have this unlocked already. Do this, and for your two teammates, have Wiz equipped, and I think it also helps if you have Wiz's skills that you get from the four Wiz mentor missions. Once it starts, just go and collect the three Dragon Balls scattered around Planet Namek, take them back to the time machine. It takes maybe a minute to do, and you get a good amount of progress on the friendship bar. I don't know if this is the absolute fastest or most efficient way but just what i've been using for this specific video and again once you've then maxed out with his friendship meter bar and you're at least level 90 just go and talk to Wiz in Canton City, regardless of where he is, either if he's by the, well, by Goku, if he's not your current mentor, or if, even if he's by the Orange Star High School, if he's your mentor right now. Just go and talk to him, which you've done those two things, and he will then just give you the Super Saiyan Blue Awoken skill. It is, honestly, at this point in the game, after game Future Super Saiyan, it's fairly easy to get. And now we have how to unlock Super Saiyan Blue Evolution, which as of right now, I think it's just the... I think it's flat out the strongest awoken skill period in Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2, also known as Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Evolved, I think it's called as well. It's, it's the same thing, doesn't matter. So there's three things you need to do to get Super Saiyan Blue Evolution as an awoken skill. Firstly, this can be done on any character, much like it's Super Saiyan Blue, so you can do this on a freeze race if you really want to, but naturally it can only be used on a Saiyan character. So firstly, you need to already have Super Saiyan Blue unlocked. Secondly, you need to be at least level 95. And third and finally, you need to have max friendship with Vegeta as your mentor. Once you've done those three things, just go and talk to Wiz again in Canton City and he'll then, much like Super Saiyan Blue, he'll just then give you Super Saiyan Blue Evolution as an Awoken skill. If you need help on how to get Vegeta as your mentor, well, actually at this point, he should be unlocked anyway. Actually, no, he is because you need Wiz anyway. So at this point, if you need help leveling up, if you need help maxing out Vegeta as your mentor, just go and check how to get Super Saiyan Blue because I cover how to level up and how to, in an incredibly fast way, max out your friendship with any given mentor. Again, do those three things. Go and talk to Wiz in Canton City and he'll then give you Super Saiyan Blue Evolution as an awoken skill now i didn't mention future super saiyan there just because i doubt that's going to be a thing that you need to do to unlock future super saiyan long so short just complete the secret ending after again they distort the five distorted time eggs and you'll then just you know, complete it and then you'll then get future super saiyan and yeah you guys know again check the link in the description to a more in-depth tutorial for future super saiyan specifically and just to end this off like this video because i can't really think of anything else apart from the most bland option and that is if they decide to add it as either both and or part of the skill shop right here which i doubt it i doubt it because they've not added anything new to the skill shop since the game was literally released or as part of the tp medal well, store like how they added skills such as divine kamehameha Godly display and even a pseudo awoken skill in a sense of sword of hope 
So it might be that you need to maybe get some TP medals or even maybe a new gift to then give to someone, maybe give a gift to Beerus. I don't know, then he'll teach you God Key, I don't know, it's always, you know, just something like that. But just in case you do need TP medals, the most effective way to, you know, to get TP medals in Xenoverse 2 is by doing expert missions. Now, I forget which one is the best, or the, technically the most effi you know, efficient, I would assume if you've got a team of people who actually know what they're doing, then Parallel Quest 18 is the best one because you can do it within, I think, I think maybe 10, 20 seconds. Well, not 10, about 20, 20, about 20, 30 seconds. I think you get 18 TP medals. We can also easily solo Parallel Quest, well, Expert Mission, sorry, 17 in the Realm of the Gods Goku, but I believe you only get like, what, 12? I think 12 uh, TP medals, but I have a feeling they're gonna probably you know, switch on double, if not triple, or 1.5 extra TP medals for when this update is released. And I'll be completely honest, guys, I can't think of anything else apart from that, other than if it's going to be part of a parallel quest reward, which I find that very, very doubtful. So that said, do let me know in the comments, guys. Do you think anything that I've mentioned in this video is how you'll be, well, how we'll be able to actually unlock Super Saiyan God? Or do you think they'll maybe do it a different way? Again, please do let me know. I can't wait for this update to come out. With that said, thank you guys for watching. Cold CAC, CAC on G Fuel, all that good stuff. And I'll see you next time.